What is good with y'all, man? So today for Ultimate Legends, the Eagles, we got another Eagle. We pretty much get an Eagle. Like, if you look at every Ultimate Legend drop, we've damn near got an Eagle from most of them. Maybe like two or three of them we didn't get an Eagle, but we're always getting Eagles. And it's funny because we were just talking like how the Eagles don't really got a tight end. Like, besides Travis Kelsey, we don't really got anybody. Now this weekend, we've gotten, so we got Dallas, got her, and we got Mike Dicka. So we got tight ends now. Our calls have finally been answered. So we got Mike Dicka. I just picked him up for about 500000 Now, I do not know if I'm going to keep him because I got God or I got Mike Dicka, and I got Kelsey. So I, I I do not know if I'm going to keep him. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, he's 6'3", 230. Now, Mike Dicka cards, they, they always play really good. I haven't really got a chance to use him a lot this year. Like, I remember he got his Team of the Week card. I barely got to use it because then we got, you know, more tight ends. And then I remember his AK card. I didn't really get a chance to use him because we got tight ends. So, like, I never really get a chance to actually use him. I remember last year I used him a lot. He was a monster last year. So, we're going to see. You know, if we uh, look at the stats, 99 speed, 95 strength. His catching stats are all 99. His route running is all 99. He's even got a 90 run block. Just because of that run block, I might have to keep him because I don't really get a lot of tight ends that, you know, able to run block and i actually like to run the ball a lot he also got a 96 agility 99 excel i mean he looks pretty nasty i can't, I can't lie he's got a 98 deep route run 97 break tackle 99 stiff arm i mean i, I can't lie this mike that looks pretty pretty nasty and we we actually might have to keep him i'm not gonna lie to you now i can't sell travis kelsey because travis kelsey uh is being d for me but uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll just do some with three Titans. I don't know. If we go ahead and look at this guy's AP for zero AP, he gets route tech for zero, which is what I'm using on him. He gets red zone threat, short and elite, matchup nightmare, and arm bar. Now, just, it's funny because I also talked about this before earlier. We haven't got a lot of tight ends this year that got matchup nightmare discounted. Now, I've heard it's supposed to be pretty good this year. I don't know. We No one's gotten it this year. It's just one of the abilities that was kind of forgot about. If anyone is wondering, I still am going to be dropping the game, play with Steven Nelson, Dallas Goddard, all those guys. It was supposed to come out really yesterday. Um, things happened. I, PC crashed. I was doing a video. It's a pretty long video, so I lost all the progress on it. So I'm going to be getting it out tomorrow, though, so we'll be getting that game play out. Uh, I should be using Mike Dicker tonight. I'm not sure. Um, it would, we're going to game play out with him eventually. I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to use him, but I, sh I should be able to use him tonight. We're going to see. Uh, I did sell Isaac Samalo because uh, he, I don't know, like he's just not very good at football. So we got John Runyon in his spot because John Runyon is just, just better than him. Because I have not dropped a gameplay with Goddard, LaShawn McCoy, and Steven Elson, those guys. I can give you my thoughts about them. Dallas Goddard is 10 out of 10. I would highly, highly recommend him for the theme team. The guy is a monster. Uh, LaShawn McCoy might get some terrible discounts, but he's, his play on the field is actually not bad. Now, look, I only use him as a receiving back. I didn't actually use him as a running back. I think he's only had, like, one or two actual handoffs. Keith Byer gets all the handoffs, but as a receiving back and a guy catching the ball, uh, he's not too bad. So, I mean, I, I still wouldn't recommend buying him for the theme team, but he, he's, he's still pretty good. Uh, and Steven Nelson, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't know. I, I think he kind of sucks. We're going to keep giving him an opportunity, but... I don't know. He doesn't seem like he's very good, but we'll see. I did not use my uh, tokens to get uh, Mike Dicker for free, and the reason why is because um, I already know they're going to be dropping a Brian Dawkins here soon for Ultimate Legends, or just some. I, did, I know they're going to be dropping some big time eagle. That's you know it's going to be big time. I don't get me wrong, Mike Dicker's cool, but I'm, you know what I'm talking, I'm talking about like a Brian Dawkins or something like big like that. I know that that's going to be happening soon. So that's why I didn't use my tokens on him. Cause honestly, I I, I did the uh, the pack once. I already have enough. To I've been had enough tokens to do the pack a second time, and soon enough, I'm probably gonna have enough tokens to do the pack a third time. So, um, I'm just kind of chilling with that. I'm down to 1.6 mil, so the coins are falling very fast, and it sucks. Cause I I honestly barely play this game. Like I probably play this game two three times a week. Whenever I finish champs, I I just don't play. The I still haven't finished champs. I think I'm like 15 and four. I still got like six games left. I'll probably try to finish that up tonight if I do get on tonight. I'm not sure if I'm going to. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, if I'm not able to get some of these cards, it is what it is. I don't really care because I, I barely play this game because it's terrible. I don't know. I mean, I want to keep Mike Dicka just because of his run blocking, that 90 run blocking, and really kind of just have him and Goddard as the starters. But I don't know. I mean, it's only 500,000 coins, so it's not that big of a deal anyway. I'll probably end up keeping Mike Dicka and then... Honestly, we'll probably just make Travis Kelsey my third tight end. I don't really run any sets where I use three tight ends, though. So, I don't know. He'd just be there kind of for depth, I guess. But, um, I don't know. If any of you guys have used Mike Dick, I guess uh, let me know. You know, do you like the guy? Is he any good? You know, I actually have two tight ends that can run block for the first time, I think, all year. Because, you know, I've used Zach Ertz a lot of the year. He can't run block. 
you know, Travis Kelsey, he can't run block. I think, you know, he's Vernon Davis. But basically, every tight end I've used pretty much cannot run block. These are the first two tight ends that I'm using. Not only can they run block, but they can catch the ball, and they can absolutely make plays after the catch. So, like I said, if I do hop on tonight, we're going to go ahead and use him. Uh, expect a gameplay sometime with him next week. Um, I'm not sure when, but we'll get it out. Don't worry. Um, so, yeah, let me know how you guys are liking him. That's pretty much going to do it, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and your boy is out.